that are really difficult to Somali land, but the scale of this humanitarian crisis demands more and more stake. The children and the elderly are elder, are elderly are already dying. The rest of the nomadic family are experiencing the urban suffering in their distribution. We're also urging the government of Somalia to prepare centers to care for the protected and to fully commit to the uh, transparent and accountable process to reach all those victims. <coughs> Mr. Chairman, and esteemed guests, the importance of transparency and accountability <coughs> is also raised by the recent and controversial developments in Berbera. For those of you who are not aware, Berbera is a poor city and is strategically placed on the Red Sea. It's also a major civilian aviation center and is crucial for Somalia's imports and exports. The development of the port by a traffic company has been rumored for the last couple of years. In June 2016, a deal was signed between DBUN, a dual based company, and the government of Somalia, according to the initial NOU document, DBUN has committed to investing 442 million in the port in a period spanning over three decades. The Odani party encouraged the development of Somalia's assets and recognized the potential of the port. It has the potential to sell land market in Turkey a fast growing export import trade. However, we are very concerned by the lack of transparency and accountability in the DB World contract. There was no open tender process and the contract details and in fact is still shabrooded to secrecy. When done in such non-transparent manner, it has the potential to increase corruption and to rob the people of their assets. I want to declare here that under my leadership this lack the transparency culture will change and that my government will commit to the application of zero tolerance policy towards corruption in all its shapes. The recent announcement of the agreement between the government of Somaliland and United Arab Emirates where UAE will build a military base in Pelperai is also of a great concern to my party and our people. We are generally supportive of assisting our security allies and of agreements which will bring jobs to Somaliland people. However, this military base has the potential to bring some of serious challenges to Somaliland at a time when we are all equipped to deal with them. This includes Somaliland being drawn into the conflict in Yemen and into the wider geopolitics of the region. There is also a risk to Somaliland's national security if we are seen to take sides in the geopolitical conflicts without adequate and compensating safeguards. Moreover, Berbera and the use of this strategic national assets are for Somaliland a crucial factor for the future development, for the building political alliances, 